Hello and welcome to another video of the How To Crucible Weapon Reviews and today we're talking about True Prophecy. It's a future Warcult hand cannon that you're able to get from, obviously, the Lakshmi, the future Warcult lady. You can get it from her. And I do believe it is from the very first season. So if you don't have any of the DLC, this is, this is, this one's for you. Because obviously you can, you can still get it. So my experience, let's talk about my experience real quick. So this weapon was something that I have hadn't, I, I haven't touched a weapon like this in a long time, specifically hand cannons. I haven't done a hand cannon forever, like a very long time. I mean, if you look back at the videos and just see the dates, like I haven't done one in a good while at least like a week and a half or two weeks and so doing a hand cannon was also refreshing but it kind of brought me back to the fact where hand cannons and you know scout rifles and all those types of weapons are actually a lot slower play styles than any other play style that I actually have been doing which is auto rifles and SMGs and pulse rifles right those play styles dictate that you can move pretty fast because those weapons do shoot pretty fast and they you know the range isn't that great either on them so that you kind of have to get close you kind of have to push you kind of have to do all this stuff well when I was doing these matches I wasn't having near the amount of kills that I was having or near the amount of deaths really because I was just playing a lot slower with this weapon mainly because of the fact that it does shoot slow and also it's you know it's a hand cannon it's not like a a god OP weapon that I can get really close and still get kills. It's, you know, it's, it's one of those more methodical weapons. And I, I really did enjoy the, the, the little change of pace, the little change of scenery that I was able to attain while I was playing with the hand cannon. But specifically this hand cannon, I had a few things that I very much enjoyed about this weapon. One of the things being its perk, which we'll talk about later, but I... I literally, that's the very first perk I've ever used that is that. Like, that is so unique into the, like, the aspect that I have never touched a weapon with that perk on it, and I freaking like that perk a lot. But, yeah, let's go ahead and get into the stats real quick. So, impact is insanely high. Now, it doesn't seem like that when you do shoot it. If you're watching the gameplay right now, you're probably confused if you haven't ever seen this weapon to begin with. But, but the impact is quite high. It's just there is a little extra thing that happens. So, like, the initial shot is not, like, insanely high for a hand cannon whatsoever, actually. It's kind of low. But when you couple it with the other thing that's happening, it does do quite well, and it does pack a punch. Moving on to range. Range is pretty good, actually. I had very easy time aiming this weapon that far away, and then also just easily hitting targets from that far away. It, it, wasn't, it wasn't a problem whatsoever, and I kind of deeply enjoyed the range on the weapon. I mean, obviously it wasn't a scout rifle, but I mean, it, it did, did the things that I definitely needed it to do. Stability and handling. Stability, it's a hand cannon, so obviously there's going to be a couple problems with the hand cannon being the fact that it shoots up like a freaking mile and a half every time you pull the trigger, but it's a hand cannon, you know, it's a hand cannon, like you're holding a cannon in your hand. Obviously, there's going to be a tad recoil. I, I don't know what you're expecting. And then the handling, you know, it just moves around normal. There's no, no uh, gimmies on it. It's, it's just, it moves. It moves. Moving on to reload speed. God damn it. <laughs> it's slow. <laughs> reload speed is actually bad on this weapon. And, um, yeah, it's bad. It's really, really, really slow. And I'm not a fan. <laughs> Rounds per minute, 110. And then with the magazine, you have 11 bullets. So let's move on to the perks. The only perk that I really want to talk about is timed payload. Now, timed payload is the perk that I have never seen before. This is the first perk that I've, that I physically haven't seen ever. Like, I've, I don't even know what it's like to get hit with this, this perk, like, to be totally honest with you. So, time payload is when projectiles are attached to the enemies, they explode after a short delay. So, when you fire your bullet, you hit them, and it's attached. Then, like, split second later, it pops, and it gets you for more damage. So, every time you shoot, you hit them, and you take, you get damage. And then, all of a sudden, there's another thing of damage on it as well. And... It's actually kind of fun to use this, honestly. So you're shooting a guy, and I think you can do like 42 headshot with this hand cannon at optimal range. And when you couple it with the explosive, I think the explosive somewhere in the 27, 20 range, 20 to 27, maybe 30. I don't think it's all the way up to 30. But if you add that on there, and you know you have the 42, say say it's a 27, you add the 42 and the 27, you're doing a total of 69 damage, which is a lot of damage. But to be totally honest with you, <laughs> this perk was actually just really fun to use because you would hit someone and they'd be like, oh, I still have time to get to you. Then split second later, they just implode because they're dead. <laughs> because it's just that split second later where it tags them again. 
again, I don't even, I've never been touched by this weapon, honestly. Like, I've never been hit by a timed payload trait. And that is something that is interesting because I like this perk a lot. It's actually really fun. It's actually a lot more fun than a whole lot of other perks because mainly it's unique in the fact that it's only on True Prophecy and that's the only weapon I've seen it on. But if I were to find another weapon with timed payload, I would have a blast, especially like a scout rifle or a pulse rifle. Maybe not a pulse rifle because there's three bullets, so that'd be three explosions. You probably wouldn't do any damage whatsoever. But, you know, like a, a scout rifle, at least. Like, that would be really cool to have that extra pop on there. That'd be kind of crazy. But for perks, we are going to rate perks with a 8.5 mainly because of the fact I've never seen timed payload and I really like timed payload actually. It is very, very unique and very fun perk to use. Moving on to long range. Long range, I am gonna give it a seven. Seven is, you know, a good number for this weapon. It's not insanely good. It's not a scout rifle. It's not a long shooting pulse rifle, but it is a weapon that does damage from a very good amount of distance away. It doesn't have a problem with actually hitting the targets from that far. I mean, it's just, it's just the fact that, you know, there is a damage drop off, but it's not insanely bad to the point where it's almost unusable at that range. It, it does do good work in trying to, you know, hold someone off a point or something like that. Then moving on to short range, I'm going to give it an eight. Again, it's not insanely good. You know, it's not a submachine gun that's going to melt you. It's not a sidearm that's going to melt you. You know, it's not a crazy auto rifle that's just doing crazy melters up close. It is a hand cannon, so it does shoot a little bit slower. But if you do hit your shots, it is a very, very effective weapon at that range. Now moving on to effectiveness, you know, we had to do a little bit of calculation. So uh, our KD for this weapon was 1.75, which is uh, all right. It's decent. It's not crazy good, but it is good enough to the point where I actually had a good time playing with the weapon. And I didn't, I never, I never felt where I was having problems. You know, I never felt that I was having problems playing against other people. I always felt that I was doing work and then, you know, I'd see the end and I'd be like, oh, maybe I died a few more times than I thought. But I never really had a problem with being frustrated or just basically getting crapped on during a match. So for kills and assists, I had 215. For deaths, I had 123. If you add those up, I have 338 total engagements. Now, like I said before, the slower gameplay, this this definitely felt a lot slower. I mean, 338 compared to now, where I'm getting maybe 370 to 380 constantly with other weapons, you know, it did feel a whole lot slower in the fact that I was doing a lot less gunfights in the whole Crucible as a whole. So let's take our equation. Let's take our kills and assists, our 215. We're going to divide that by the total that we just got, 338, and then that's going to be multiplied by 100, and we are going to get an effectiveness of a 6.4. Now moving on to overall rating, all we have to do is add up perks, long range, short range, and effectiveness. We add those all up, divide by 4, and we get an overall rating of a 7.5. Now, the entire score for this weapon is a 37.5. So now we can move on to the ranking system. So if you don't know about the ranking system, I take the, the number I just got, 37.4, and I take that against its category of weapons, so it's hand cannons in this video, and then I take it against every single weapon that I've rated so far. So for hand cannons, this weapon is going to be coming in at 4th with a 37.4. It is just below Nature of the Beast, and it's just above Sunshot, and so, you know, it's kind of in the middle. It's not a crazy further down the list i mean it is a 37.4 so i mean you kind of think about that like that is a high number for the list like it's a very high number for the list and for the list actually for the entirety of the destiny 2 list it is going to be sitting at 17th just below disrespectful stare and it's just above manana nan manana nan manana you know what i don't care uh, it's just above that scout rifle, so it is kind of, you know, it's a little, it's in the top 20 at least, and I've done a lot of weapons so far, so getting into the top 20 is probably, you know, one of the best, but the score itself, the 37.4, is also very good, and now, should you use the weapon? I would definitely try it out. I mean, this is the only weapon that I've seen time payload on. If you've seen time payload on a different weapon, go ahead and immediately send me a comment and be like, yo, it's on this weapon, because I am, I want to use that immediately, because I need to see something. I need to see if this perk is OP or something because I very much did enjoy using time payload. It was a little bit of a change while I was playing the Crucible. You know, I wasn't doing all my damage in one 
in like the trigger pull itself it was kind of like a damaged buff afterwards so if i was in one of those fights where i traded i would end up actually hitting them and then they would kill me probably with the trade and then they would die and it'd be you know, like the the ultimate haha <laughs> screw you bro i got you with the time to payload so go ahead and try it out see what you like it and, and, and then you know slap me in the comments if there is another weapon out there with time payload because i want to i want to touch it thank you guys for watching the video hope you guys enjoyed if you did go ahead and hit the like button if you'd like to see more gun reviews from me go ahead and hit the subscribe button and i'll see you later